The one thing I like about Thousand Oaks, it's really calm and a place to raise a family type of place. You're not gonna see a bunch of Rogers? Nah, you're not gonna see a bunch of little thugs <laughs> running around here. <laughs> We're gonna go talk to our friend slash customer named Lisa out here in Thousand Oaks, California. We're gonna show you the floor. It's a hardwood floor they put in the house and it's called Diva by Macmillan Floors. So let's go see what she thinks. Hopefully she wants to be recorded. Good morning. Good morning. Come here. You're fine. Okay, come on. Hi, Lisa. Yeah. Your name? Robert. Robert? So I do have my videographer with me. I have another videographer on his way. Wow. You even put it in. You put dang, you guys put it everywhere. It looks perfect. Yeah. Wow. Is this white oak? Yeah. It is. This is an oak. Wow. I love it. You got you have great taste. So what we do, if you're wondering like why who the heck is why is this guy recording this guy? So I pretty much um, I go to people's houses and uh, I show off how, how beautiful they look in people's homes. That's what I do. Just because social media is so big nowadays. So you kind of need someone to show you how products look. Oh wow. Beautiful dog. Well, when we were looking too at this particular company and, uh, and the Diva. Yeah. You know, we did look online and there's some beautiful pictures as well. What kind of dog is this? He's a mini poodle. Yeah. When we got him during COVID, I was told he was a golden doodle. Yeah. Even I got a paper that says golden oh doodle. My oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And when he stopped at 13 pounds, I was like. Is it why you All right. It was a pleasure talking to Lisa, the homeowner of this house. She is a doll. Let's go talk to these dudes over here. Some guys that are not dolls. They're a bunch of thugs. Yes, sir. Yeah, I came to roast today. I saw that last vlog. That yeah. last vlog, they talking about some shoes. Yeah. I get the juice. You brought the shoes today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I brought the shoes. What's going on, so Lucky? How you doing, man? Chilling, brother. What's up, What's up my boy? Roger? What's going on? What's up, my boy? What's up? What's up? So, we talked to Lisa. She's a nice lady. That floor from McMillan Floor is the diva. Mm -hmm. It looks good in there. It looks really nice. Ooh. All right. So, we're going to go in there and. Uh, go. Yes, sir. You know how we do, man. Yeah? We get in there, get it done. Roger Dodger, man. Hey. That's how we do it out here. Right, Ray? Yeah, yeah. When we go inside the house, I like to get to know them. Because yeah. at the end of the day, this is their home. This is where they this is this is where they hang out. This is where they enjoy their life. It's a lifestyle. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> because you can show the floors, but you gotta show who's living in this house and why they got hardwood floors. You know what I mean, Lucky? What you think, my boy? Big facts, bro. If you came to my house, you'd be like, damn, Roger lives here. Okay, I see, I see how he lives. All right. You know? Coming soon, bro. Hey, no, that's the net, yeah, for sure. That's a project. Mm -hmm. But the house looks beautiful. Oh, Looks, is it wood stageable. everywhere or just like in a certain area? No, wood's pretty much everywhere. Okay. It's everywhere. Cool. So you want to start? Yes, sir. Let's get it. I mean, mic you up. You, um, you know Jeremy Scott? I don't. Um, back in the day, they had the Jeremy Scott Adidas, all gold, uh -huh. dressed in all black, had the gold shoes, uh -huh. untouchable. Yeah? <laughs> How many pair of shoes do you have? Um, sneakers or just like shoes in general? <laughs> Is that a trick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, footwear, I say it's uh, maybe a cool 12. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's quality over quantity. I agree. <laughs> you want to start here or take it to the front? Um, I think we should take it to the front of the house or yeah. take it away. What's going on, guys? This is Roger Dodger. Wow. This is beautiful. All right, cool. She's so nervous. She doesn't want to be in the camera. No, just and nobody wants to be on camera, bro. I talk to so many people. People are nervous to be on camera. It's not normal usually. Public speaking is one of the biggest fears in the world. Yeah, I said the top three for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, I want to show you how beautiful this house is. If you pay attention to the floors, they're a European natural white oak floor. They just look warm and cozy in color. They're naturally. This is the way they look. This is Diva by Macmillan Floors. Pay attention how beautiful it looks. It's 10 inches, 10 and a half inches wide by seven feet long plank. So a lot of people, they say, Roger, what if the plank is too wide or too long for a small room? This room is, it's not that big because there's less lines. It looks less busy on the floor. So it makes the room look bigger. I want you guys to see something though. Pay attention to these stair noses that they used here. They did a natural white oak floor and they have natural white oak stair noses. A lot of people always say, Roger, how come the stair noses don't match the floor perfectly? 
because natural white oak floors, especially hardwood floors, they're never going to be a perfect match because they're natural floors. It's natural. It's going to have natural movement in the floor. So, but check it out guys. I want you guys to see how beautiful it looks in here. They ran the floor into the, into the, all the different bedrooms and they ran it in the hallway. And I love, love, love the way they put these baseboards. It's nice and flat. It looks about a five inch tall baseboard. And this floor, it just looks so beautiful in this place. A lot of people say things like, Roger, what if it's too wide for this hallway? It's gonna look good, don't worry. Stop freaking out. This is a narrow hallway with 10 and a half inches wide plank. It looks beautiful in here. It looks open. You see that? Let's say this place is only about 1,500 square feet, for example. Well, now guess what? Now that you put hardwood floors everywhere, the floor making the house look even bigger. Now it looks like it's about 1,700 square feet because you ran it everywhere. Yeah. I like this. This is a beautiful image right here. So yeah. I just want to run in front of the car. Can you just get a picture of me like right here? I got three. I'm not the only one in front of the camera. I've been taking pictures for these guys too. Look at the way that the fireplace pops in front of this natural oak floor. Look at it. It looks beautiful. And then over here, their kitchen table. Look at it. It's so clean, so simple, but yet so sophisticated next to these oak floors. And then their kitchen. Look how beautiful their kitchen is next to these floors. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful design, guys. I love it. I love how, how beautiful it looks in here. In the master bedroom. And it looks just beautiful in here. I love the way that they, uh, they have a natural white oak bed frame. And then the walls are off-white. It pops. That's the beauty of this floor next to an off-white wall. It just pops in here, guys. I just love everything they chose in here. It's collective. Everything was collected. Nothing matches. Like not everything is, you know, when you go to like a place like, let's say like a big box furniture store, everything's matching. It just looks kind of dull, kind of bland. You want everything to mean something to you. You know, from this to this, you know, all that stuff matters. If you want it to look unique, you want it to look beautiful and natural, organic, it, everything has to be collected. Collected pieces, I think are more powerful, more statement. The reason why these floors are so beautiful as well is because they are wire brushed white oak floors, okay? What does wire brush mean? They actually put a wire brush, just the way it sounds, to the grain and it opens up the actual grain in the wood and now you feel texture and it feels like actual raw white oak floors. Everything pops in here. The contrast of everything, the colors. This place looks, I'm gonna say it, it looks, it looks perfect. I would love to live here. And I think everyone watching would love to live here too. Lucky, what do you think? It's, it's like warm. It's like warm. It's like, <sighs> it just I want to grab that blanket. Yeah, 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 just like cuddle up. You just know what I mean? I hang out, just like, <sighs> all right guys, we'll see you later, okay? <laughs> I don't even want to do my job. You know? <laughs> this is crazy, listen to this. This earth is giving you oxygen every day. Right. Right? And water. If you really didn't want to get some groceries at the store, all you got to do is plant some vegetables in your garden and if you really wanted to get some meat you can go out into those mountains and find a, a bobcat kill them eat them am i wrong not a fact just saying kyle yes, you, gotta, sir. you gotta understand one thing what's that okay? we're not only recording people's houses but we're expressing how we feel how i i love you kyle you know what i'm saying love you too bro hey kyle the only thing left in this world when we're all gone is love that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. <laughs> Pay attention to this part of the house. They put the European oak up to the hearth, the bricks that you're seeing on this fireplace. They butted it up nice and flush, and then they cocked it the same color as the brick. Why do you think they did that? Because it's aesthetically pleasing. Imagine they would have put a quarter on in front of this. It wouldn't look as good. But that's how you get artists when it comes to engineered hardwood floor installers. They do a great job. If you got a good installer, they know what they're doing. If they don't know what they're doing, they're gonna be using a quarter round or a transition molding. So if you notice, this house doesn't have any transition moldings. So that's how you're gonna get a house that looks cohesive and a nice flow through the house. Pay attention to that, guys. Has to be, there needs to be balance when it comes to the colors you're choosing. The natural oak floors are timeless. We know that. These natural white oak floors by Macmillan Floors Color Diva are a timeless look when it comes to putting a wood floor in your house that's never gonna go out of style. If you're choosing floors, guys, make sure the wood floors you're gonna go with, they go with everything. Because a lot of times people go like espresso colored floors and they show a lot of dust and dirt 
and they're not timeless. Always stay in the spectrum of light oak floors up to medium brown floors. Don't go too dark and don't go too white either. And another thing that I wanted to point out, just imagine guys, this beautiful house, it looks so warm and cozy, so elegant, right? Imagine if this house would have had gray floors. Just imagine. I'm not bashing gray, I'm just saying that if you want that organic, modern feel, that cozy feel in your house, you just want to hang out. You don't want to, you know, just got home, you don't want to stress, you just hang out on the couch with the dog or your wife or husband, just hang out. You're going to get that feel by going with a warm, white oak floor like this. The gray floors, imagine if there was gray floors, gray walls, gray couches, I think it would have been a little dull, right? I just love the way these floors look in here, guys. They're beautifully, as far as how natural they look. That's probably why the customer chose this. Not only do they have off-white walls, floors, 10 and a half inches wide by seven foot long plank. Just take a look at them, they look beautiful. Let's have some coffee. I think it's time for some coffee, guys. What do you guys think? Do you ever think you'll be walking into people's houses, bro, without you burglarizing it? No, no, honestly, honestly <laughs> I'm just, no. I'm just kidding. Honestly, no. I have never, I never thought that. Uh, I never thought I would be doing this, to be honest, never, because I think I always dreamed it. Um, being on camera, I always wanted to be on camera. That's the one thing that I always want. I dreamed to do, and I'm obviously doing it, so I'm thankful. I thank God for that. You know. All right, guys. I had a lot of fun with Lucky, the homeowner, Lisa. She was a doll and her little puppy. The little puppy was cool. Um, but uh, it was fun, guys. I'll let you guys see a little bit of the background of what I'm doing out here. I'm doing this for you guys. I want you guys to know that I'm doing this for you guys because at the end of the day, you guys are the reason why I'm making this content because you guys want to see floors in people's houses. And that's why this all started. So I want to thank Kyle. I want to thank Lucky, Lisa, Macmillan Floors and everybody that's involved to get this and to make this happen. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.